Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add a switch to an outlet. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete the project. Subscribe to my channel for more similar DIY videos. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. Here is a possible situation. I have an outlet here and a night lamp is connected to that outlet. Although the night lamp has a switch attached to it, I want the ability to turn on this night lamp as soon as I enter my room. I have two options for this. I can convert the entire outlet to a switched outlet or I can only convert one of these two receptacles into a switched outlet. In that situation, one of the receptacles will be powered through a switch and the other one will always be on and that is called a half hot receptacle i will cover the half hot outlet in my next video let's get started the outlet is powered on right now i will go ahead and turn off the power and then work on this project i just turned off the circuit breaker now with my touchless voltage tester i will make sure that the power is really off first from the wires outside there is no power. I can now go ahead and remove the cover plate. I will remove these two screws and pull out the receptacle. I really like my Black & Decker cordless screwdriver. Very useful. Next, I will disconnect all the wires from this receptacle. Now this is my outlet box which has a 14-2 wire that brings power into the box. From here I will take a 14-3 wire from this box to the switch box here and then connect the wires. I will obviously need a switch for this project and I am using Leviton Decora single pole light switch. I will also need a 14-3 wire with white, black and red wires in it of course with the, a bare copper ground wire. This 14-3 wire will go from the receptacle to the switch box and I will use Vago lever nut connectors instead of wire nuts. Once again this 14-2 wire brings power into the outlet box and this 14-3 wire goes to the switch box. I will now strip these wires and make them ready for connections. The white wire from the 14-2 wire is connected to the white wire of the 14-3 wire and is also connected to one of the silver screws of the receptacle. The black wire from the 14-2 wire is connected to the red wire of the 14-3 wire. This black wire from the 14-3 wire is connected to one of the brass terminals of the receptacle and it will bring power in only when the switch is turned on. I will use a 2-pin Vago lever nut connector to connect the black and red wires. Push these two wires all the way inside the box. I have one ground wire coming from the switch box, one ground wire coming from the 14-2 wire which brings in power and uh, one small pigtail here which is connected to the outlet box. I have connected a pigtail to the ground terminal of this switch. I will now connect all these wires using a Vago 5-pin lever nut connector. Only four of these 5 pins will be used. I will push all these ground wires into the box. Next I will use a white wire pigtail to connect one of the silver screws to these white neutral wires. Again a 3 pin Vago lever nut connector to connect all three white neutral wires. Next, the black wire coming from the 14-3 wire is connected to one of the brass screws of the receptacle. Again, I will use a small pigtail and a Vago 2-pin lever nut connector for this connection.
Next, I will work on the switch side. This white wire coming from the receptacle is not used. It is left as is. It is required as per most electrical cords and it is also required if somebody wants to change this switch into a smart switch. I will use a 2 pin Vago lever nut connector and leave the wire in the box. Push it all the way inside the box. For the switch, ground connection first. Make a loop of the ground wire. Tighten this. It doesn't matter whether you connect the red wire to upper terminal and the black wire to the lower terminal or vice versa. But normally the wire that brings in the power to the switch is connected at the bottom. In my case, the red wire is bringing in the power to the switch. This specific switch has a self grounding tab here. When I tighten this switch to the box, the box will get grounded. So I don't have to use an extra wire to ground the box. Let's take another look at what I have done. This is a 14 2 wire which brings in power to the receptacle to the outlet box. And I have drawn a new 14 3 wire from the outlet box to the switch box. The black wire from the 14 2 wire is connected to the red wire of the 14 3 wire. And uh, I have already pushed that back into the box. That red wire goes into the switch. The black wire from the 14 3 wire brings the power back to the receptacle and it is now connected to one of the brass terminals of the receptacle. When the switch is turned on, the black wire brings in the current to this box, takes it to the switch using the red wire and then the black wire brings the current back to the outlet. I will now push all these wires inside the boxes, tighten the screws of the switch as well as the outlet and then test the connections. I will now turn on the circuit breaker and test the wiring connections. The circuit breaker is on and I will use my client tools receptacle tested to see whether the wiring connections are correct or not. No light here because the switch is off. If I turn on the switch, these two orange lights indicate that the wiring connections are correct. Let me test the bottom one also. The connections are correct here also. Turn it off. This is off. Turn it on. This is on. One more test. If I have a bedside night lamp and it is connected to this receptacle, I can turn it on or off using this switch. This project is complete. I hope the video is informative. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think I have made any mistake in wiring, please let me know in the comments below. In my next video, I will show you how to wire a half-hot outlet. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, please take care.